Okay, I switched the brightness up a bit. I hope that's better. Um, if not, since you can't change the brightness in the game, I can only change it from TV. I'm not entirely sure whether that will translate to recording. So I'm not going to go inside the train again, because that was just dead end. Um, at least I assume I'm on this, the same platform as before. Well, there doesn't seem to be any other way, so maybe I messed up somehow. I'm pretty sure I just went in one direction, but maybe it turned me around. We were told, like, retreat is sometimes the best option. Was that a hint? I've got to go backwards. Um, I'll try the train again, anyway. Um, if I don't find anything, I'll cut and I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll just keep on talking. So is there anything in here? No. I can't turn the train on. I can't use the door, which would be kind of handy. Can I? No. Okay, fine, back through the hand-infested train. Which... I really can't see how I'm going to have messed up. That turned me around weird. Um, is that an item? No. Whoa, whoa, shit. Hell, that scared the fuck out of me. Um, whoa. Yeah, you can die. Bastard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do not like these. I do not like these. Whoa, damn. Use my healing candy again. Um, yeah, no use. No, don't drop. Use. Um, oh yeah, you don't use that way. Sorry. <laughs> Game over. It's getting dark. Yay. <clears throat> right, um, sell again. Oh, sell this bit. Let's reload that. <clears throat> yes. Okay, welcome back. I went through the train and I died, so I'm going to try the train again. Again, I'll cut if there's nothing in there. I will probably show the last train because I died and it was kind of funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I do not like those hands. Anyway, it might be best just to ignore them and run past. So I'm going to try that. Fuck you, hands. Fuck you. Guess what finger I'm pointing at you. Oh, and this time I went through fine. Okay, whatever. Um, there's a fire here. I don't think I've actually got anything I want to do with the fire. But, never mind. I hope I'm not getting sick. Let's go back to the action. It's nice to have the fire lit, so if nothing else, it looks more pleasant. There's nothing hiding behind the barrels. No. Fire exit this way. That was an incredibly short train track. Um, yeah, it looks like we're back out. Nice gigantic moon. Um, not much more. The personal frame hasn't interrupted for me for a while. Maybe I should talk to it. No. No, I don't think we'll be talking to the personal frame unless I need to, to be honest. And here we go. Personal frame's going to interrupt me. Okay. Or maybe wind will blow from inside the tunnel. Um, why do I feel like I'm about to be a monster? Food. The sky's red. It must be dawn. Yes. Dawn is the time of day when the sun is below the horizon. Sunlight bounces off particles in the upper atmosphere and scatters, causing the phenomenon of a colorful sky. With today's strong winds, more particles must have been kicked up to result in the exceptionally deep red we perceive now. 
Okay, obviously personal um, friend can excuse see. Excuse me. Are you listening? Yeah. It's so red and pretty. Yes, it is stunning. Just beautiful. It is actually quite beautiful to be fair. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yes? Being of assistance to my user is my primary protocol. Ask anything you so desire. Well, uh, before, I saw a silver-haired girl. Have you seen her around here? Kind of stalking her. A silver-haired girl, you say? Just a moment. Please stand by while I conduct a search of my databanks. I should mention that an ongoing power shortage has restricted access to the compressed files in my database. I wasn't able to scan all of my records, but... You know her? Yes. I mean, no. Which is it? Pardon me. It is just that of the memory I was able to access, a silver-haired girl might or might not have shown up. You've seen her. It's possible. And yet, it's possible I have not. Oh. So you haven't seen her. At the Eiffel Tower. I might be able to estimate where the girl would be at present. This is only a theoretical calculation. What? But when it comes to the general location of people, the underground shopping mall in the station we were just at was always lively with crowds. So perhaps... Some people might still be there? Yes. In the past, it was always bustling with activity. So there is a possibility it is that way now. That makes no okay. sense. How do we get to this underground mall? The entrance to the underground mall can be found on the second floor of the station where we just were. However, that passage is always kept locked. Oh, but do not worry. There is a chance that the key to the passage is being kept in that storehouse up ahead. Hmm. I'd say it is at least an 80% chance. All right, then. Let's head to that storehouse, right? Affirmative. Inside, you will need to locate a thin, gold-plated key. And one more thing. Please be careful. Yeah, I know. I voice more molesting hands will grab me. Um... Seriously, just none of that makes sense. Why would after like the Armageddon people would go to a shopping mall? I mean, if there were zombies about, maybe, but I haven't seen any zombies yet. Um, is that an item there, or is it just kind of glowing? No, it appears to be an item and a kitty. Oh no, it's not an item. It's a fireplace. I don't need a fireplace right now. I'm gonna keep running to the shed. Yeah, personal frame is just completely senseless. I found no data comparing to Silverhead Girl, so I may have met her. Yeah, that makes sense. No, okay, you can't access all of your files, but you can't just assume what's on them. You're the worst robot ever. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Um, taking indirect routes is usually the way to get items, but apparently not in this game. 